International Journal of Health Policy and Management. Quality and speed are our culture and the keys to our success. Welcome to the audio summary section of the International Journal of Health Policy and Management. Ladies and gentlemen, a warm welcome to Retaining Doctors in Rural Bangladesh, a policy analysis. My name is Dr. Tofik Jawadar. The co-authors were Dr. Lal Rawal, Professor Syed Basud Ahmed, Dr. Aftabuddin, and Dr. Timothy Evans. As you know, Bangladesh is one of the countries with critical shortage of human resources. On top of its absolute shortage of human resources, it suffers from relative shortage uh, towards in, in the in the rural areas. There are only 20% of the health workers serving the 70% majority of the rural population and it gives rise to a, a skewed distribution in the urban areas. Uh, for example, there are 18 doctors per 10,000 population in the urban areas in comparison to 1.1 doctors per 10,000 population in the rural areas. And as um, you, you'd understand, uh, the vacancy rates are also very high in the rural areas. In order to uh, address these issues, the government of Bangladesh designed a number of policies and strategies, the most notable one being Bangladesh Health Workforce Strategy 2015. However, these policies are not specifically focused towards the rural retention issues. They address, understandably, they address a large number of issues related to human resources for health. Another problem with these policies is that although there are some policies addressing the rural retention issues, not all of them are properly implemented on the ground. So a group of researchers from Brack University collaborated with uh, International Center for Diarrheal Disease Research, Bangladesh, and the Ministry of Health and Family Welfare and identified three policy areas to conduct more in-depth analysis on. And in order to identify these policy areas, we consulted the World Health Organization's um, global recommendation on uh, rural retention issues. And uh, there are 16 policies, 16 recommendations, um, and we selected three. Uh, these are career development programs, compulsory services in rural areas, and the schools outside the major cities. We adopted the, this oft-quoted policy uh, triangle framework by um, Jill Walt and Lucy Gilson. Uh, we conducted um, document reviews and literature review and also key informant interviews uh, with uh, policy elites from the health sector of Bangladesh. Uh, we also conducted stakeholder analysis and position mapping exercise and um, analyze the qualitative data accordingly. So in terms of uh, the findings uh, in, in the policy area one, that is the career development programs, the first finding was that we found that the uh, applicants who uh, apply for job in the health sector, um, uh, they, their relevant expertise is not really um, um, accounted for while um, employing them. For example, on, uh, in addition to clinicians, the health sector requires a lot of administrators, managers, um, that is the paraclinical or non-clinical stuff. But in the recruitment process, uh, these people, uh, even with uh, relevant degrees in, um, in health policy or health systems or public health, are not really recognized. Secondly, Promotions um, are often late and contingent on post-graduation and when these people are forced to go to post-graduation in order to gain their uh, next promotion, they eventually need to leave their rural posts and go to the urban centers. Uh, these people are leaving the rural posts where and they are most needed. Thirdly, the career tracks. We have some career tracks in the health sector, but these are not really well defined and very porous. And um, as we can, we saw that people without necessary expertise are deployed in the very high positions. For example, if you go to uh, the director general level, you will find a lot of uh, clinicians. These positions actually require somebody with experience and expertise in, in the management and administration and policy. But unfortunately, the positions occupied in, uh, in those layers are actually um, occupied by clinicians or medical teaching track people. Uh, fourth point is that promotions are often politically motivated. 
in terms of the next policy area, that is the compulsory rural services, we found that uh, uh, the females are not ensured to stay with their spouse in the rural areas. For example, a female doctor is posted in a rural area to serve um, the compulsory two-year service in the rural area. Well, her husband may be a doctor posted in somewhere else. So um, it, it's not guaranteed that this female doctor uh, will get the uh, get her um, uh, position, uh, her uh, deployment in the same position as her husband, uh, which is uh, which is very necessary considering the context of uh, Bangladesh, context and the culture you know, of this country. Secondly, uh, local level health bureaucrats were supposed to monitor the physicians for their uh, service in those areas. They often relax their monitoring mechanism, sometimes due to some personal gains because um, it's alleged that uh, they receive some benefit out of it, monetary benefits, and sometimes they do it due to political pressure from uh, political bodies of the physicians. Thirdly, we found that um, there are impractical rural posts. So one may ask, I mean, why on earth uh, somebody should develop um, um, a, a post or a position where there is no facility, there is no uh, uh, no facility or um, uh, infrastructure or security even uh, for the physicians to serve. So the, the so one of the uh, key informants said every recruit, recruitment is a purchase and every purchase has a uh, has a commission. That means uh, these people actually develop these uh, positions because uh, they can graft man money from these applicants in exchange for recruitment um, assurance. Fourth uh, point is that compulsory service often um, are often waived for the political affiliates, whoever is in power. I mean, it, it doesn't apply to a particular political party. Whoever is in power, um, their affiliates, political affiliates are often exempted from going to the rural areas, hence um, compromising the compulsory rural service. Next uh, policy area is schools outside the major cities. And we found that there is an absence of clear policy documents obligating the establishment of medical schools outside the major cities. In the public sector, this decision is made by, um, by the politicians. For example, a member of parliament who is very powerful, he or she wants to develop a medical school in his or her area. In the private sector, this is actually driven by uh, profit motives only. So in conclusion, we want to say that um, uh, there is a lack of proper system or um, policies in uh, relation to retaining doctors. Secondly, uh, uh, there, is, uh, there are vested interests or um, corruption issues. Uh, there are undue political in influences. And uh, uh, there is an imbalance of power and position of some of the stakeholders to really execute these policies properly. So in, in, um, in conclusion, we want to recommend um, a few recommendations. The first in terms of the first policy area that is career development program. Well, we think that the applicants with relevant expertise should be recruited. Recruitment should be quick, customized and transparent. And most importantly, we think that there should be very well defined, distinct career tracks for uh, people coming to the health sector. And uh, these career tracks should be respected. These people should be vertically promoted uh, along these, um, uh, these tracks. And these tracks should be general health service track, medical teaching track, and health administration tra track. We have a very detailed discussion in the original paper in this regard. In relation to policy area two, that is compulsory services in rural areas, we think that uh, the facilities or the health facilities must be ensured before um, uh, giving posting to the doctors to serve there. Female doctors must be prioritized to stay with their spouse, which is um, culturally uh, more appropriate. Then uh, field level bureaucrats should receive non-practicing allowance in exchange of strict monitoring. And uh, fourth, the assurance for no political uh, interference uh, should be uh, should be done for compulsory services. In uh, relation to policy area three, that is a school outside major cities, our recommendation is that there should be specific policy guidelines to establish medical schools outside the major cities. And in conclusion, it's very essential that there is a strong political commitment for um, uh, rural retention of doctors. And with this, I end and thank you very much for your kind attention and I welcome you all to read the whole paper. <music>